Hey, what's going on YouTube or Storm here coming at you guys with another um, discussion video today kind of going, you know, getting to something else. It's something that's, I feel like that's something that's been bothering me and something that I'm not really, I haven't, I don't feel like a lot of other YouTubers have really addressed. I, and I know that like, you know, Glasgow has done his video, he talks about the best box opening ever type stuff. And that's the type of stuff you do see a lot of that on YouTube. However, I feel like the biggest thing that's not addressed besides, you know, the clickbait type content is the fact that people incessantly plug their channel content whenever they can. Now, kind of giving you guys a recap of why this is, I'm talking about this. If you guys didn't know already, I moderate the Team APS uh, Facebook page. I'm probably known as the more Nazi mod of the group, but we, even though we do have more moderators than your standard group, we don't, not everyone is as, all the moderators are as active as, you know, I can, I am and some of the, a couple of the others. So it's oftentimes why I end up getting in trouble, trouble with people and getting on people's nerves because I'm basically just calling them out for, you know, I'm like, okay, my thing always thing has been is that there's a different, if you're going to play a engine or cards in a deck, you need to have a solid reason to play them. And there's certain things that you don't, you know, you don't do, you know, gr great example is, um, I remember, forget the guy's name. He was playing uh, Shadal's in his uh, Prediction Princess list, and my point was, well, why aren't you playing Shadal Fusion? And his only real reason not to play it was that Construct is banned, and that's a reasonable point. But the thing is, Shekinaga and Winda are still good cards, and I felt like I felt, and the main reason you play Shadal Fusion is you can dump the pot to the graveyard, and it means, and and you can actually set up future plays, and that. And that, and he, he kind of, he kind of got a little, took it the wrong. And maybe I took it a bit too far, saying just don't, don't play the Shadals at all. Which is was my point is that Shadal Fusion is still a really potent card, even in today's current format. The great example is Shadal Trains because you can go into Shekinaga, dump Ruffian Railcar, dump Shadal, and then not only do you dump, you dump something else because you sent Skomata, you're gonna get a Ruffian Railcar search in the end phase. And that's just one example of a current deck that can use quite effectively use. Um, used it all fusion and the other and that's something that i know that i'm not you know i'm not the biggest thing of you know i, I know that i haven't met this quite balance between you know me you know telling people that ideas are bad and not coming off as a jerk but there's that's something i think we all you know struggle with sometimes but the main point you know getting back to the to the, to the clickbait topic i remember i checked out the metal foes group because i meant well da back to the aps group um, I remember we, we haven't removed many people from the group in general because most of the time it's just people to, you know, argue too far. We've only, we've only had to remove three people really in the whole history of the group. And the latest one was, was a guy who was just every other day he would post uh, video links for his YouTube. And I told, and I repeatedly told, we literally gotten, gotten these, and I, this is the thing that bothers me a lot about the channel pluggers is they don't understand the point I'm making is that it kind of contributes to spamming spam in the group and it doesn't really help grow your channel. It just and it doesn't really help people find stuff. It's just you. It's just tooting your own horn, basically. And he, he literally we literally had to create a rule in the group where you couldn't post more than once a week and he still would repeatedly do it. So after repeated offenses, he was completely removed from the group because let's may, now maybe I should have just removed him on my own. Maybe I should have messaged him first before removing him. But nevertheless, he had, you know, a couple of dozen warnings, you know, to to stop and he didn't. So to be fair, it's not my problem. And. So the same thing happens. I notice as I've joined other face group groups. If you've seen me, you know I'm active in the apps page. I sometimes post in reincarnation on occasion. And then recently, I checked out the Metal Foes group because, as you guys know, I have the deck. I'm built. I have the deck built. And as you guys know, and uh, so I'm like, okay, let's check out a Facebook group. Let's see what's going on. And I noticed that, like the, the that you know, in one particular instance, a guy. And this is like all Facebook groups I've been in. Um, besides, besides the apps group, because we have like a, we have rules stating that you can't post YouTube links more than once a week. There is literally at least half the posts are simply people linking over to their YouTube. And uh, one guy in particular linked a Mermail, you know, 1700 OTK, which first off, that does nothing really to do with metal foes. And second, I think we all know metal, that Mermails can, po can, and we all know Mermails can put a lot of damage on the board. 
And it's not the easiest matchup personally for me because I don't side for it. You know, most of us don't side for mermails. And a guy a guy took took literally took it so far as to take is to, you know, publicly shame me in the group for changing my profile picture because supposedly having an anime profile picture means your position your opinion can't be taken seriously. Which my whole thing is that my whole point all along and long is that um has been that and this is advice to you guys who have a channel, you have a smaller channel, hell, you have a larger channel. There is a balance between, you have to understand that when you first start a channel, you will not build a big sub base quickly. It will not happen. It took me about, I would say, five to seven months just to hit the 100 subscriber mark. And that's something that you guys have to, you know, all you YouTubers need to realize that, you know, Simo is one of, Simo is a great example of a guy who went from, you know, here to here, but he ran one of the biggest tournaments. He ran the original YouTuber Grand Championships, and that literally boosted his channel from here to here. And there are other instances of guys, you know, kind of, but the thing is, all, one of the, all these guys have one thing in common. They were, they had a well, good over a, a thousand, couple thousand, a uh, hundred thousand subscribers already. In order to go from here to here, you have to hit that thousand mark. And posting those types of videos in groups, in Facebook groups, is not going to get you there. I think that that's always been, and that's something that people just and this is something for YouTube comments as well, because even on my smaller cha size channel, I see this on a regular basis. I see the guys, you know, commenting, commenting, saying, hey, sub for sub. And I'm just like, I mean, and I'm, I'm, I'm honest with them because I feel like honesty is the best disinfectant. You tell them, you tell them you're not going to check it out and explain that channels take time. And most of the time people don't take, don't take it too seriously. And, and they understand, Dan, I'm just giving good advice. That's literally what I'm doing. And, uh. I do feel like that that's something a lot of starting YouTubers make that mistake. Th mistake. Um, and I feel like there's there are different roads to get to get to those big subscriber numbers. However, you have to realize that you're going to have to get you're going to have to get to that road first. You're going to have to get to that thousand sub mark before, you know, your channel does you know blow up or whatever. Um, now, on a personal level, I think um, and I'm going to go into more into detail about this next week because I think. Just looking at my analytics and my subscriber numbers, I definitely notice that there's a rotating line of subscribers going in and out of the channel depending on what time it is. So I definitely think there's something that does need to change with my channel. I'll have a little bit more details on that next week. But it's not going to be just, hey, check out this thing, fill it out, tell me what you think. I'm going to kind of give you guys a bigger kind of coverage over what – I'm going to give you guys a bigger you know, list of what your guys are going to be – what I think is good and what I think is bad about the channel and what I think could get better. And I also talk about some of my favorite segments as well. And I feel like that's going to be something that, you know, it's going to be a little bit more detailed. And, and I think we can all together figure out what we need to do to, to make this channel a even better than it already is. So anyway, guys, as always, I thank you guys for watching my video today. And I always like it when you guys watch my videos so let me know in the comment section below what you think of this topic and anyway guys as always I thank you guys for watching it's Orstorm signing out